I'm Chris Schweitzer, and I'm currently working on the fourth Krogan Adventures uh, full-length story. Uh, this one is set in 1920 in Warlord Era China, and it features uh, a crew of uh, circus performers that travel aboard a tramp steamer that collect uh, artifacts and curios from port to port for a sort of Ripley's Believe It or Not style museum. This puts them afoul of a lot of people who don't necessarily want those artifacts collected, uh, and in this case it's particularly nasty general. Uh, this is a story that I've been excited to work on for a while. I started it a few years ago, uh, but other projects and uh, other life things have prevented me from putting my attention to it uh, until recently. And it's a story that I'm having a lot of fun drawing. Many of the projects that I've undertaken lately have been uh, very deadline focused and Although I'm working at roughly the same speed, regardless of what project I'm working on, uh, there's always that stress in the back of my head um, of, am I moving fast enough? Am I uh, accomplishing enough each day? And with this project, I don't have that deadline in place, at least not yet. And it's been really satisfying to just simply sit down on a page and work on it until it's done without ever really looking at the clock. I began this story a few years ago and I penciled about half of the book, but I'm going through and redoing most of the pencils because uh, my drawings have changed significantly since you know, 2012, 2013, as I hope they'll have changed two or three years from now. Uh, and But I'm still uh, happy with the layouts that I did, so I'm still using the original pencils as sort of my roughs and just going in and, and changing up the anatomy, changing up the angles a little bit. Some of the pencils I'm tackling traditionally, some I'm tackling digitally. Uh, in either case, I combine them and print them out in light blue. Uh, on 11 by 17 paper. And this allows me to ink on top of that. For one, it saves scanning time because I can simply scan in black and white and it doesn't pick up the blue. It also allows me more opportunities to mess up. And I'm very likely to mess up. I'm not sure uh, if you are an artist, I expect that you probably screw up, you know, every third drawing the same way that I do. Uh, and by inking on top of blue line, it gives me the ability to mess up without ruining that underdrawing. They can go back, print it out again, uh, and try over. I'm coloring digitally as well. Uh, I am moving away from the cell shading style of coloring that I have done in the past, and I'm trying to use more flat colors and to draw in a way that the drawing conveys the sense of form that I used to indicate using shadows in the colors. Uh, the only time I'm using cell shading now is when there's dramatic lighting, if there's a particular plot-centered light source uh, that I want to convey. Uh, some of these pages are really detailed, um, and that's taking a while, and that's okay. I'm really excited to be working on this book, and I hope that you are as excited to read it. Ha 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 ha!